Welcome back to MDLR Fishing, everyone. Today we are out at the Surfside Jetty. Actually, no, that's the Surfside Jetty over there, and this is the Quintana Jetty. What we're going to do is find out just how deep it is from the beginning all the way down to the end. Now, I'm going to maintain a distance of approximately 15 to 20 yards away from the actual jetty itself because the majority of y'all that's how far out you're casting and if you ever wondered just how deep it is well here we go so right at the beginning you can see that it is eight and a half feet and y'all can kind of see the boat right there that's where we are eight and a half feet approximately 20 yards away so uh Let's go out just a little bit and let's see how far out the drop is because the center of the channel, there we go, there's the drop. Y'all see that, how it's starting to go down? Probably 25, 30 yards away. It went from eight and a half to 10 and a half. And the further that we go out away from the jetty, well, it's only gonna get deeper. We're now a quarter of the way down the jetty and still holding our distance of about 20 yards away and check it out seven and a half feet let's go towards the jetty right up against the rocks so that y'all can see what it looks like here we go almost right on top of the rocks oh gosh it is very shallow oh look at all that bait oh man we are right on the rocks and about 10 10 yards away from the rocks and three and a half foot deep. Now, there we go, about 15 yards away, seven foot deep. And still going away from the rocks. And there we go, back to seven and a half. We're about 20 to 25 yards away. Let's go a little bit further away. And it's a very slow and gradual uh, drop. But I know for sure, once we get out towards the middle, it is pretty deep. We're now halfway down the jetty and nine, almost 10 feet deep. Still at about 25 yards is what I'm gonna guess away from the rocks, nine feet deep. We are now approximately three quarters of the way down the jetty and still maintaining a distance. We're about 20 yards away, but check out the depth. It is nine foot. And if we go out about 25 yards, look how quickly it drops. Look at that. And this is where the majority of all the jetty anglers have chosen to go anywhere from three quarters all the way down to the end of the jetty. And look at this. You got jetty anglers up there all hooked up. There's two of them. Somebody just brought in a fish. There goes this guy right here bringing in a fish. All right, 17 feet. And as we get closer and closer, well, naturally it's gonna get deeper. 20 feet now. Well, actually, you know what? Those are the swells coming in. We have two to four foot swells uh, is what was forecasted from the Coast Guard's buoy. We have now made it all the way to the end and the depth has held steady between 11 and 12 foot deep. Again, about 20 yards away from the rocks. So that's what you can expect inside the actual channel. I will do my best to give y'all a depth of fishing the beach side or the, uh, well, yeah, I guess you can call that the beach side. But I've got to watch out for all the anglers out there. They're slinging lead spoons and uh, they can really come out and get you. We are approximately 40 yards away and you can see that at the very end of the jetty rocks, 20 feet. I'm now about 80 to 100 yards away from the rocks and it is 18 foot deep. Again, sorry I can't get closer, but these guys right here are slinging these lead spoons and uh, they're landing approximately 20 yards away from me. So they are launching them, but check that out. Still 
almost at the end of the jetty and uh, that's what you can expect right there 17 and a half foot deep anywhere 17 to 19 feet and as we get closer just through experience whenever I'm able to get in a little bit closer you can be rest assured it's approximately uh, 10 foot deep somewhere around there here we go at three quarters of the way down the jetty I finally have an opportunity to go a little bit closer to the rocks so let's do that give y'all an idea of what we're looking at around 20 yards away from it there's a lot of blow-ups taking place out here guys are slinging spoons getting about 50 yards out 50 to 60 maybe even 80 for those that are launching them with big uh, fishing rods okay approximately 25 yards out and it is 11 feet deep again three quarters of the way down the jetty and uh, that's what you can expect right off the rocks on the beach side let's get out of the way because we got this angler right here and then once we give him his space to cast uh, I'll go right back in towards the rocks because it doesn't appear that there are anybody else fishing it nope they sure aren't and we're now halfway down the jetty approximately 30 yards away from those rocks nine and a half foot deep and it's only going to get shallower as we get closer towards the beach let's check and see how far out the rocks go as we get closer to them we'll see them on the uh, hummingbird and let's just see we are approximately 15 yards away from the jetty no rocks yet now we're 10 yards away okay there we go there goes the rocks that's what you can expect halfway down the jetty y'all see that right there look how close we are to the rocks probably about five yards away oh man snuck up on me let's uh get away from them just a little bit i don't want to mess up the mirage drive even if it is the kick up fins but there you have it anywhere from five to ten yards that's where you can expect the drop so if you're fishing for like sheep's head the mangrove snapper things of that nature 10 yards is all you really need to go out at least halfway down the jetty and you should be able to expect uh, catching fish like that for those of you fishing off the bottom you want to go further than 10 yards because that just means you're going to get snagged and uh, for those of y'all that really want to catch some nice size speckled trout in my experience now I'm no pro or anything like that but right alongside the drop where the rocks are if you're jigging a spoon erratically uh, chances are you're going to catch some decent sized speckled trout and you'll be able to catch redfish uh, also the spanish mackerel they love cruising up and down the jetty rocks just waiting for a bait fish to like fumble around and like, leave the safety of them rocks so 10 yards away 10 to 5 yards actually and that's where you can expect that drop this is the quarter mark and it is now six foot deep going towards five approximately 25 yards away and uh, getting shallower as we get closer to the beach it's definitely going to get a little bit shallower you may be able to find the guts that's what i have a hard time uh, understanding is like whenever the waves crest or the swells uh, well that's the same thing the swells cresting or the waves qu uh, cresting I've been told that that's the start of like one of the guts or the middle or like the sandbar I'm not too sure but we are now venturing in closer uh, than one quarter of the way down it's definitely getting shallow so now why is it important to know where the guts are and the sandbars a lot of fish travel up and down that third gut even the second gut looking for bait and if you know where they are and you want to fish the uh, surf side of the jetty then that's definitely really good to know i need to turn around now because uh, these swells are getting pretty bad and we're almost at the end of the jetty and it is now four foot about 30 yards away from the rocks 
All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on how deep the Cantana Jetty is. Hopefully you're gonna be able to use it to your advantage in understanding just where the drop happens from the rocks and then how deep it is on either side, whether you're fishing the channel or the beach side. Uh, I'm hoping that you're able to use it to catch fish. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all for clicking on my video and watching it. Thank you for the support. And until next time, tight lines.